Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe that it is November. November is probably one of my favorite months of the year. October, November, December, I feel like that's pretty much everybody's favorite months, but I cannot believe that it's already November. That means next month is Christmas. Let's be real, that's what we're most excited about here. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite products that I have been loving for the past month in October. Um, I have a lot of really fun things that I'm so excited to share with you guys. I get like so pumped up about products that are awesome and I found a lot that are from the drugstore as well so I'm really excited to share those with you too. So before we get into this video please make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you're already a subscriber but you want to be notified each time I upload just hit the little bell and that'll just mean you'll get a notification each time I post a video and you'll never miss out. So if you guys want to see what I've been loving for the past month then just keep watching. Okay, so the first product that I have been obsessed with is something that I have never tried before. I've never tried anything like it. I've never actually heard anything about a product like this. This was actually sent to me by this brand. And honestly, if it wasn't sent to me, I don't think I would have ever searched for a product like this on my own. It's so cool. So I have been loving the Paracone MD Pre-EMPT, Preempt. I don't know how to say that. It's from their Preempt series, um, but is the Refreshing Shower Mask. So as soon as I saw this, I was really intrigued by this type of product. I personally had never ever heard of any brand that has made a in-shower mask. How I use it is I hop in the shower, I wash my face first, and then I apply an even layer of this all over the skin, and you're supposed to leave it on for the duration of your shower. And what it does is it protects your skin, it gives like a really nice protective layer to your skin that will protect it, I've said that word a million times, but it protects it from like the steam and hot water, which tends to dry out your skin. So it really is so nice and hydrating, and the best part about it is after you're done with your shower, you rinse it off and it leaves like this really refreshing, cooling, almost tingling sensation on your face and it just wakes you up. I just love it. I don't know. I, I don't have anything bad to say about it. I honestly don't know if it's like improved my skin's condition like in the long run, but I do notice that when I hop out of the shower, I don't get that like really tight feeling that you get sometimes after you wash your face and take a hot shower. Um, it protects against that. And then when I go into the rest of my skincare, it really just feels so nice on the skin. So I just love it. I don't know. I, it's also really gentle. It doesn't like strip my skin of anything and it doesn't change um, the skin tone. Like my skin's never red after I use it, which is a good thing, but I'm obsessed with it. And I thought that I would share it with you guys because it's different than anything that I've had. And I use it every single time I'm in the shower. So I've been loving this. If you guys are interested in something like this, if you haven't tried anything like this, I would recommend trying this out. It's just a really cool product and it really works for me. So the next product is from the drugstore. This is something that I actually discovered because of YouTube but I didn't try it until recently. So I'm sure a lot of you have probably tried these before, but I cannot get enough of them. They are the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealers. These, you guys, are seriously so good. The formula is amazing. The way that they blend out with a beauty sponge is amazing as well. I have two shades. I use the shade Fair and Light, just depending on where I want to be more bright. I tend to use the light shade on blemishes and under my eyes as well, and then I will layer the Fair shade on top under the eyes. The Fair shade alone is sometimes a little bit too bright for me, actually, which is kind of nice. I Sometimes it's hard for me to find Find a concealer that's light enough, especially in drugstore ranges. So the fact that they have a super light, light concealer, if you're a really fair girl, check this one out because it's one of the lightest concealers that I found in the drugstore. But I do really like to mix the two. I honestly just love how it wears. I'm wearing it underneath my eyes and down the center of my face today. I just love it. It blends over foundation, any foundation that I've ever tried with it. It blends over beautifully and it sets down really nicely. It never creases. I just love it. And it cancels out like a lot of discoloration. So if you do have dark circles, this does a really good job. It's really high coverage, but it's not too thick. So I really love this. If you haven't tried it yet, go out to the drugstore and try it out because I honestly don't have anything bad to say about this either. And I'm so happy that I finally tried it out. Even though it's been on YouTube for years and years and years, I finally jumped on the bandwagon and it's amazing. So this next product is also from the drugstore and it's something that I've used for the, a little bit over a month, I would say. 
um, but I recently started to use it by itself and I've fallen in love with it completely. It is the Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade 05 Soleil. This is so pretty. It's what I'm wearing all over my skin right now to bronze it up. I did use something else to contour my nose, but other than that, any warmth that you see on my skin is this guy right here. When I first got this, I was kind of scared to use it by itself because it does have a really beautiful like gold marbling to it and I just didn't want to look like a disco ball with my bronzer so I used to layer it on top of like a matte bronzer just for like a little bit of an extra glow but I was in a rush one morning and I just decided to try this all over the skin and I'm so happy I did because I love it by itself I think it's gorgeous it just leaves you with a really nice radiant bronzy glow and going into the winter months I feel like this is something that I'm going to be wearing a lot because it just looks really glowy it looks like you just got off vacation and I love the fact that there's kind of a a reddish terracotta undertone which helps make the product look more natural like it looks like you got a little bit of a sunburn in a way but in the best way possible um, I've just been loving this I love it so much and I was reading the back of this just now if you use it dry it's more of a sheer luminous finish and if you use it wet it's more intense I've never tried to use this product wet before so I might have to try that but I love this another fabulous drugstore find and I just love how it looks on my skin so I recommend trying this out if you need a new bronzer or if you like glowy bronzers, this is a great, great product. So this next product is something that I'm pretty sure I've mentioned in a favorites video some time ago on my channel, um, but I recently fell back in love with it and so I had to mention it again to you guys. It is the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara in the shade Carbon Black. This is a mascara that I've been using for over, seriously, like probably three, five years. I don't know. It's been a long time. And over the past year, I kind of stopped using it because I ran out of my bottle, threw it out, and then I have so many mascaras, I'm just kind of trying to go through them. But I picked this up again for another video that I did recently and I fell back in love. I honestly don't even know why I love it so much. It's what I'm wearing on my lashes right now. It kind of provides like a more clumpy lash look, which a lot of people don't like, but I don't mind it at all. But I just love it. I love how it curls my lashes. I love the applicator. I just, I don't know why I love this so much, but I cannot put it down. Um, and it's another fabulous drugstore find. To be honest, I feel like the drugstore makes the best mascaras ever. There's so many drugstore mascaras that I love, but this is probably my number one. I don't know, the Voluminous um, Lash Paradise Mascara is so bomb too, but ooh, I don't know, I, I really love this one. So I had to mention it again because I'm in love all over again. So this next product is a lip product. It is something that I picked up because it won a Allure Best of Beauty Award. If you saw my full face of high-end Allure Best of Beauty Award winner, video then you would have seen this already but I can't get enough of this either it's the bite beauty amuse amuse bouche liquefied lip yes and the one that I have is in the shade chutney that's the shade that won the award it is what I have on my lips right now and the reason why I love this so much is because it's a different formula than anything that I have again moving into the winter months I'm always looking for something a little bit more hydrating and this I feel like is gonna be something that I'm gonna grab all the time. Now, don't get it confused with a liquid lipstick. If you're expecting like a matte liquid lipstick that's going to last hours and hours, you'll probably be disappointed with this product, but if you know what it is and what it's meant to be, I feel like you'll really like it. It's much more of like a balmy, glossy lip product, but it's so pigmented and really hydrating. It's so comfortable on the lips and it also wears down really well. I wear it throughout the day and I feel like it fades all together in one layer, not like awkwardly in patches. So I really like that if you're out at school or work and you're worried about your lip color looking weird, this doesn't wear off weird, um, but it also doesn't last for hours and hours. So it is something that I would recommend carrying in your purse if you are out all day, but it's so great. This color is beautiful as well. I'm really interested to check out the rest of this range because if they have like a really nice everyday nude color, I probably would want to pick that up and then something even deeper than this I think would be beautiful for winter so I wanted to give this guy a mention because I've really been loving it and another great thing about the brand Bite Beauty is the fact that all their lip products are edible or made of edible ingredients so this lip product is 99% natural which if you are somebody who cares about that kind of stuff that's a huge deal and it's an amazing high-end feeling product but the fact that there's so many natural ingredients in it and it still works so beautifully and it smells beautiful and it looks so gorgeous I just feel like it's an amazing product I love Bite Beauty so much so I really wanted to mention this because I have been loving this as well okay so nail polish you guys I feel like I have a bajillion <laughs> nail polishes to share with you um I have two different like 
lines or brands that I want to talk about and I love them for different reasons. The first one being the KL Polish Fall line. Oh my goodness. She launched six new nail polishes this fall and I love every single color. They're so fun for fall. I especially love this middle shade right here. This one's called Chloe. This one's Wishbone. And this one is called Cozy in there. And then we have Princess Penny. This one is Prince Cornelius. And this one is Mozart. I currently have Mozart on my toenails right now. It's a really cute like toenail color. But I've tried all of these colors out and I honestly can't pick one that I love more than another. I guess I guess Chloe is something that's so different than anything that I own personally. So if there was one that I would recommend, it would be Chloe or um, I love this blue cozy in there. It's gorgeous. It's not the blue that I have on my nails. I'll talk about that one in a second, but I love KL Polish. I think I own like pretty much everything that she's ever launched. <laughs> I just love her color selection and the applicator, especially on these. The formula is really good as well, um, but I've been rotating like every week with a new KL polish. I love it so much. So I wanted to share that with you guys. And the other nail polish brand is a little bit more high end. It's a little more expensive, but you guys, I cannot. This is probably the most gorgeous bottle of nail polish I've ever, ever seen in my whole life. Should I show you one at a time? Maybe I'll show you one so you guys can get an idea of what I'm talking about. These polishes are from Smith and Colt. Look how cool this packaging is I can't like the caps are melted and each cap is individually melted I think because they all look different so major points on the packaging already like these look gorgeous on your vanity but besides the packaging the formula is so bomb like it's amazing like I said before these are a little bit more pricey than like a typical polish these are $18 where I think that the um, KO polishes are $8.50 which is a normal like polish price, but I feel like they're priced so high because of honestly the formula and also the packaging, I believe. The color that I'm wearing on my nails is this one right here. It's called Subnormal. It's just the coolest dusty blue, which is my favorite color ever. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, this one right here is a little bit more of a green, but it's still like a dusty green. It also looks gorgeous on the nails. This one's called Bitter Buddhist. And then I have, um, this one right here is called Ghost Edit. When applied, this one is a lot more clear. I think it'd be perfect for like a French manicure look. Um, but again, gorgeous. The packaging on these are amazing. These were sent to me, so thank you Smith & Colt. I love them so much already. Uh, the one thing that I maybe don't love about this is it's kind of like that Marc Jacobs polish I mentioned in a couple videos back where the top pops off and then you unscrew the little plastic thing and it's just a typical applicator in the inside. So as far as the applicator goes, like KO Polish wins by a landslide, but the formula for sure feels way more high-end and way more long-lasting even than the KO Polish one does in my opinion. They're both great formulas, but honestly, the Smith & Colt polishes, besides looking gorgeous, they are such good quality and this color is beautiful. So I can't wait to expand my collection of Smith & Colt. I feel like my nail polish shelves are really stocking up and these are gorgeous. I had to share them with you. And the KO polishes have also been really impressive this season. I love the colors, so I wanted to let you guys know about that. I think last but not least, um, I actually have a podcast I wanna share with you, which is so weird for me to say because I have never been a podcast person. I just, I don't know. When I think of podcasts, I always thought of like, NPR news. I don't know. Like, I just think that, I don't know. It just wasn't interesting to me. I didn't ever, I'm not really into news. And so I, for some reason, I always thought that podcasts were just a bunch of news, which they kind of are, but I found a beauty podcast and I have been so in love with it. It's called Fat Mascara. So here it is. It's called Fat Mascara. I'm all caught up now with the podcast, but if you're into beauty like I am and you really want to hear about like the inside scoop of the industry or interviews from people who are really important in the industry or just like beauty news in general, I would really recommend listening to Fat Mascara. It's just fun. It's just fun for me to listen to. And it's really gotten me into the podcast world a little bit. So if you guys have any podcasts that you are loving that you think I would love, let me know because I'm really into podcasts right now. I'm kind of diving into that world a little bit and I'm a lot less judgmental of podcasts. I'm realizing how many fabulous podcasts there are out there. So let me know what your favorites are if you do listen to podcasts and recommend some to me. But if you haven't heard of Fat Mascara and you're into beauty like I am, I would recommend taking a listen to that. So 
I wanted to share that with you guys. And I think that is everything. As always, besides the podcast recommendations, please comment down below and let me know what you guys have been loving this month. I love to hear your recommendations and it's so fun to just hear what everybody has been into. So leave a comment down below letting me know what your October favorites are. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye!